Welcome to this series of videos where we talk to Dr. Warren Corns, who's Research and Technical Support Manager at PS Analytical, about uh, mercury and the various issues to do with mercury in the environment and analysis of mercury. So mercury uh, is in the environment and in samples in many different forms. You've got it in gases in the air and you've got it in liquids, uh, you've got it in solids. It comes in many different forms and lots of different laboratories and uh, agencies are looking to measure it. How do you get it from these raw forms into the vapour that will then fluoresce in a fluorescent spectrometer? Well that does depend on the sample type. Um, for solid samples, which could be a soil, a sediment, a fish, or an industrial waste stream, what, what we would do is typically digest the sample uh, with acid and oxidants. And what this does, it converts everything in the sample to mercury 2 plus. Um, in the case of a water sample, we would still go through this uh, chemical oxidation because we may have um, elemental mercury or organic mercury in the sample. And so as a general rule of thumb, what we do is do a chemical pretreatment before the analysis involving acids and oxidants. And uh, this is typically done offline uh, before you do the measurement. Uh, once you get the sample in liquid form, um, we then actually use an instrument called a vapour generator, uh, which will convert the ionic mercury in solution to elemental mercury vapour. And it does this by using a reagent, which is uh, tin 2 chloride, uh, which is a powerful reductant. So what happens when you mix the reagent with the sample, it actually forms um, uh, the, the mercury in the sample is reduced to elemental mercury. And then this elemental mercury is then uh, separated from the liquid phase using a gas liquid separator and is then sparged from the liquid and delivered to the atomic fluorescence instrument as a elemental mercury vapour. Uh, this technique is um, very sensitive because it actually takes 100% of the mercury from the liquid and converts it to a gas. So you have very good um, uh, sample introduction efficiency uh, into the spectrometer. Um, the um, other way you can do this is to aspirate uh, the sample into a flame or a plasma but this is typically only one or two percent efficient and that's why the vapor generation um, technology will give you more sensitivity than a direct uh, aspirization of the sample. So it's, it's a highly sensitive method of, of measuring very low levels of mercury? Uh, yes, uh, this type of instrument will get down to uh, less than one part per trillion and that's without any pre-concentration and uh, it's a uh, very rapid measurement, it takes about two to three minutes per sample and it can be fully automated by using a peristaltic pump and switching valves which allow us to mix these reagents continuously in an automated fashion which also gives us much more precise results uh, because it takes out any uh, human handling errors.